Yep, and hello from the yurt. Top three questions. What are your top three questions? Um, I know that this is a big question. Uh, in, in like nature connection mentoring, we call this a level three question. Uh, let me explain what level one, two, three questions mean. And um, then I would really like to go back to this top three questions thing, because I believe it matters so much what questions we ask from ourselves. Questions is what kind of moves at least me forward in life. What, what uh, motivates me to keep going is to find a good question. So uh, one of my top three questions actually is what are your top three questions? It's a question that I've been asking a lot, a lot, a lot in the last years since I came up with this question or since this question found me. Um, and asking for people's top three questions has brought me so much wisdom. Uh, a few examples. Um, what is enough? Cool question, right? Like this was a, a reply to my question. What are your top three questions? Um, what is enough? Another one is, um, what do I do next? Uh, one of my favorites, what can I want? Yeah, what can I want and what is enough? Um, like they are closely related and I have adopted them to be also on my list of the top three. Um, and <clears throat> so let's, let's go into this, uh, this different levels of questions. So why to ask questions from each other like yes it might be that you really want to know something and somebody knows maybe a reply to your question and this is why you ask this question from someone else like what time is the bus leaving right um or what are your top three questions <laughs> um so an another reason to ask and and this this what are your top three questions questions is also on that level uh, or, or that motivation is that you want to facilitate growth in the community um, and there are like these these very easy questions like um, can you can you point at, at a tree species that you know Right, so a, a question where you have the answer, but what is really easy, which is not challenging you. And then there are these questions where you have to do a bit of digging. Like, um, do you think you can find out something about a tree species here that you do not know? Right, so somebody might find a tree and they might find be able to find out something. So it might need some bit of thinking and digging. Right, so maybe even asking from from someone else or some research or so, um, and you you can see this kind of level two question is 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 harder than the level one, um, and you have to do some something yourself, so that helps you in that situation to grow, right? To think about something, to money maybe to manifest um, a truth or, or information. Uh, level three questions, they are the questions that I believe you have to be really, really careful with when asking them. So I almost want to apologize for asking you this question, what are your top three questions, um, without knowing you, without knowing your situation in life, without knowing what kind of question would be good for you right now. I still feel that this what are your top three questions question is is almost still you know you can you can um, it, it can pass as small talk or almost uh, it, even though it's a big question so the top three like this this um, level three questions um, they're they're like they can be like a bomb right they can be a question that will stay with you for the rest of your life it can be a question that really challenges your your understanding of yourself and the world uh, it can be something that um, will be there always in the back of your head to guide you through life what is enough what is enough right um, <clears throat> so these top three these these uh, level three questions 
um, there might not be questions that you will find answers to. The question might be there as a guidance, but you might not find answer to this question uh, or the, the answer might change over time. And you'll be aware of that the answer might change over time because your situation of life will change. So <clears throat> asking a level three question is something that needs to be um, done with a lot of care and awareness. Um, and you shouldn't, um, I, I, I personally think it's not a good idea to ask a level three question if I'm not sure that the person can take it and if it's the suitable question for this person. Because th these questions, they can be so tricky that you really want to get it right. So I believe that to ask level three questions from others, it's good to know something about this other person, know what state of life are they in, what state of um, maybe also physical or, or mental health they are in. Can they even take this question or will it like, you know, be, 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 be the nail in the coffin on their depression. So these are these three layers, <clears throat> uh, level one, level two, level three questions. Um, level three questions, I, I personally love them. Um, when I ask for what are your top three questions, I'm always hoping to get a, a level three question. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so in love and passionate about wisdom and questions um, because it gives me so much growth and so much to, to um, you know, use my noggin. Um, so usually I find it that these top three questions in my life they might change, it might change the order and the, the questions might change. Uh, I think for sure this what are your top three questions question is is probably going to be there for some time. Um, the other one is really like what is enough, what can I want? Um, like what can I want as a member of the natural community of life in all its diversity? What can I want to stay alive and support life in all its diversity? Um, so this, what is enough, what can I want, they are kind of pretty similar. And on the third level, or not third level, like what the other third, there are a couple of candidates. Um, and they change, um, and I'm not having anything in the moment where I feel like, yeah, that is the one. So I thought I wanted to share this with you. Um, I think it's a um, yeah, neat thing to, um, to also have meaningful conversations and go into depth. That's it for now. Have a good time. Love you. Bye-bye.